Refresh. No. Re Hello. Hello. Uh, hey, everybody, and uh, well, welcome to this video. It is world update number three week, uh, and we're waiting uh, for the refresh to do its thing and uh, be ready to download. Uh, but, but, some housekeeping before we do this. There is a fantastic utility program. It's freeware. Uh, it's available over on the flightsim.to website, and it's called MSFS Add-on Linker, uh, developed by a dude called Bad2000. Super, super handy. Um, basically, it allows you to control what add-ons you have, uh, be it from the third parties or downloaded, uh, what's running, when, where, how, and why. Uh, and always a good idea before you get a world update, or any sim update for that matter, uh, is try to keep the sim in its vanilla state, as it was as you first got it, without any third parties, uh, because some of the files might be outdated, there could be conflicts, there could be all these issues. So ideally, you know, you could make a copy of your community folder and move it away. That takes quite a bit of time. With this add-on, it makes it super, super easy. So Gibbo Ireland is going to talk us through what to do and how to do it. Uh, and we'll see you after this. Thanks indeed, Murph, and hi everybody, Gibbo Ireland here. Um, with World Update 3 only around the corner now, it's good to be prepared. And one of the things that always comes up at update time is the issue of your community folder, which inevitably um, really might have expanded and morphed uh, and grown over time with new sceneries and liveries and add-ons uh, of all different kinds. One of the problems, particularly around update time, is the fact that, well, your community folder contents sometimes can cause problems. Um, there may be a conflict, for example. One of the things I'm interested in is to do with uh, Dublin and the Orbix add-on that I ha already have. That's fantastic. And whether or not Dublin has been updated in, in World Update 3. Um, so what's best to do and is recommended advice is always to um, clear out your community folder, cut and paste it somewhere else so that it's empty wait for the update to happen and then bring everything back one by one making sure that it's all going well aside from update time it's also good to keep on top of your community folder from a performance perspective as well as you may have heavy sceneries for example that can slow down your particular system and um, even when they're perhaps not in use so wouldn't it be great if there was a way to actually you know, exclude them from even loading up and firing up when you are not even flying anywhere near them. And then third, but not least, is from an update perspective. Again, as new updates to liveries happen and aircraft happen and add-ons happen, it can be a challenge, particularly if you've got a large community folder like I have, to find what it is that you're looking for, swap it out, swap it back in, etc., and just really keep on top of it. So, MS FS add-ons linker uh, tries to solve those particular problems. So let's jump in and take a look. The add-on is just downloaded, I've extracted it and I've just popped it into my documents folder. Okay, so before I open the add-on, what I've done is I have cut everything out of my community folder that's in the flight sim uh, location and I've made a new folder where everything actually truly lives. It's called true community, which is in my documents folder. So I have true community where my, my files really do live and in a flight sim location I have an empty folder currently called community as we can see here. So I'm going to actually just create a little quick access to it so I can get to it nice and easy. The next thing I want to do for categorization is actually just create a couple of categories just for my benefit so I can keep track of everything. So I'll go ahead and do that now and I'll move everything into the proper folder structure. Okay, so now I'm happy with my folder structure. Again, I've just created liveries, presets, scenery, and add-ons, and I can create more if I wish. So let's go ahead and open up MSFS add-ons linker. Okay, so opening up the tool for the first time, I'm presented with this screen, and I first of all need to choose my community folder. So I do know where that is. Let me open this up because I did a quick access to it. Here we go. And I can pop it in there. Next is my presets folder. So where would I like my presets? I'm going to actually keep them all nicely in the same location. True community. Choose your FS version. Oh, the 
MS Store for me. Rename description column. I'll leave that the way it is. Initial folder state all collapsed is fine. So I'm going to create my folders. And I point it to true community, which is the real location where my folders actually exist and my content exists. Okay, so I think I'm ready to hit okay. It says this program might be required to run as administrator. Try and restart as admin. Sure. So what I'm going to do in the background is I'm going to open up the community folder, which is in my flight sim install. All I need to do is I right click on true community, which is where they really do live. And I'm going to go for enable all add ons. Are you sure? Yes, I am. And there we go. Look in the background. Everything now is linked. All the files that I wished to have are ready to go. And you can see they're green here, indicating that they are linked between the real location and where they need to be to work for in Flight Sim, which is the community folder in Flight Sim packages. This is a sim link, but otherwise known as really a shortcut. So it means that if you wish to remove your community folder, it's super easy to do. If an update is coming and you want your community folder to be blank, all you do is right click here, go to disable all add-ons. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Watch my folder in the background, gone. And similarly, I can actually turn off any of these that are linking into my community folder within Flight Sim without moving any files by simply just ticking a box. So let's say I wanna go ahead and remove all these and I don't have to click on them one by one. I can go with whole folders, for example. And um, so let's say I want all liveries to be removed. Look at my folder now. All my liveries are gone. Let's say I want uh, scenery gone. Gone without me having to do any sort of maintenance, which is fantastic. So one last thing, in order to maintain things and keep it going super easy for you, you can set up presets. So I can actually save this particular one as a preset. This particular one has got nothing selected, which is perfect when it's add-on time. So I can go ahead and create a new preset. I'll call it wipe everything, or maybe that's not a good idea. Call it zero community folder. And that's that. Now I can actually go ahead and enable everything because I want to enable everything. There we go. And I'm going to call this one. I'm going to create a new preset and I'm going to call it normal, which has got everything in it. So Rather than actually even having to do anything else, I can just simply go to my presets here. Let's say I want a zero community folder, it's update time. Go for that, click it, and it's done. Everything's fine with the update and I want everything back. Click it, and it's there, linked directly back into where it needs to be in the community folder in Flight Sim. So a short video for you today. I hope this has been useful. Until next time, thanks indeed for watching and take care. Refresh? No. Refresh! <sighs> no. Ah, hello, uh, you're back to me. Uh, so wasn't that super uh, interesting and handy? Uh, so a big tip of the cap and well, a uh, well done to Bad2000 for the MSFS add-ons linker. Fantastic utility. I highly recommend it. Uh, as I said, I use it. Gib Ireland is using it. It just makes things super, super easy when to move your uh, custom and third party stuff out of the way. So, um, Yes, that's it for this video. I hope you guys found it uh, super helpful. And uh, yeah, world update number three, go team. And uh, well, we'll see you in the virtual skies.